Michael, guess that you had the access to almost all the material, so I would like to know if uh, it was intentional not adding uh, yes. any... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I trust the viewer mm -hmm. uh, to understand the importance of the music and the performances. And, um, and I'm not a fan of uh, uh, not, giving, not being around intelligent people. So I want the viewers to be as intelligent as I am, and I trust they will be. We'd like to thank you for coming tonight to the first religious recording session of the Lady Soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. How would Sidney Pollack react if he watched your film? Would it be close to his vision? No. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, I think he would love it, and um, I'm very proud of it, and uh, he was very trusting of me to finish the movie, uh, and I think he was trusting of me because we did not have the same vision, um, and because I had a very, I had a very definitive vision, which he respected, which is why he allowed me to finish it, I think. Or I was just lucky, or he was being nice and having a good day. Um, but I, I do believe that it was because he saw that I had a passion for it, and um, and he wanted to get it finished, and he knew how important it was. Miss Aretha Franklin, give her a big hand. Gondry is an amazing director, Aretha Franklin was an excellent performer. Yeah. Uh, so what have you learned from both of them? Aretha from the material that you have watched and from Michelle after co communicating with him and... I got, I was very lucky, you know, we have very big, uh, you talk about myths, you have Aretha Franklin, you have Jerry Wexler, you have Sidney Pollack, you have Michelle Gondry. Um, at a certain point Spike Jones was very helpful with one note, which is he wanted to work with uh, Jeff Buchanan uh, for a Kanye West video while we were in the middle of editing. And I said, I'll trade you uh, Jeff Buchanan for a week if you will come and watch the movie and give me notes. And he gave us one interesting note because there was no subtitles at the top, top of the film. And he saw the movie and he said to me, uh, I didn't know uh, Sidney Pollack discovered Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin uh, had a, a very interesting connection with religion yeah. and she wanted to get back, you know, to Gospels. Yeah, yeah. Back then, Gospels had, you know, that connection with religion, but nowadays <coughs> it's um, a paraphrasis of R&B music. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that kind of paraphrasis would help people understand how important is connecting your religion thoughts with music? I think that exists. I think that God is in the music and um, it shows up. I mean, you know, all society could be helped by good music. <laughs> and all good music has lots of God in it. I don't really like to ask Aretha Franklin. Um, I hope we did well by you. I mean, that's what I would like to give to her. And I think we got that across. I know she loved the movie. My experience with, you know, I only met her once for five seconds, and um, and I didn't know she was sick, and um, that would have informed everything if we had known that. Um, but I think there's an intuition about uh, how I feel about Aretha Franklin that shows in the movie, and so that's, you know, I, I hope she really did love the movie, but we'll never know. It's one of the great things about Aretha is that she did it, she never really talked about it. And in the movie she only says about four or five sentences, and she does it. And, and that becomes the statement. And I hope the movie is the statement in that way. Um, so it becomes, maybe it's not even saying anything, maybe it's just uh, that sort of communication of art to art. <laughs>